From a chain-link bridge in China that almost blew away during a windstorm, and a group of Texas golfers who had their day ruined by 70 mile per hour winds, to a stage in Thailand that couldn't withstand an approaching storm, and a wild tornado in Ukraine that went viral in the middle of the war. Here are 10 terrifying storm moments caught on camera. Gibraltar is a British territory on the southern tip of Spain. They're known for being one of the most densely populated territories in the world, with about 8,700 people per square mile. Thousands of people packed into a tight urban area make severe storms even more dangerous. On January 29th of 2018, gale force winds battered the British territory. Winds peaked at 66 miles per hour, which was fast enough to uproot trees and rip the roofs off of buildings. It was also fast enough to topple multiple stories of construction scaffolding. You're looking at the Ocean Spa Plaza building near the west coast. The white plastic was supposed to protect the scaffolding from dust and wind, but the storm ripped it to shreds. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when the steel towers collapsed. They did cause some traffic headaches. The roads below were full of metal rods, screws, and planks. An investigation determined the scaffolding company wasn't at fault for the accident. Everything was up to code and secured the right way. Mother Nature simply had other plans. They say everything is bigger in Texas. Apparently, that's true for storms, too. In June of 2019, a powerful storm ripped through the Dallas area, leaving hundreds of thousands of people without power. Winds blowing at 70 miles per hour toppled trees and sent traffic signs flying. A group of golfers were enjoying a day on the course when the storm hit. They were forced to hide under a bridge as tornado force winds destroyed everything around them. It seems like our golfers forgot to check the weather that day. According to Patricia Sanchez, a National Weather Service meteorologist, the conditions in Dallas were ripe for this kind of storm. Everything came together, from an unstable atmosphere and high humidity to a cold front that cooled everything super quickly. This created what's called a downburst, when the wind has nowhere to go but down. Downbursts can cause tornado-like winds. That's why they're often confused with actual tornadoes. Yan'an City, China is a prefecture-level city in Shanxi province. They're an industrial city cranking out petroleum, natural gas, and a whole bunch of coal. On August 1st of 2019, a coal preparation plant in the city was inundated with water when a dam collapsed upstream. The water quickly flooded the streets of Yan'an, turning them into thick, black mudslides. Uh... 
Water mixed with the coal as it washed over the dam. That's why it looks like thick black tar rushing through the streets. The flow was strong enough to move cars and topple street signs. One poor guy was covered head to toe in coal water. He must not have seen the flood coming. Thankfully, nobody got seriously injured during the flood. Though, we can't imagine all that coal water is good for the people or the environment. We can't say for sure what caused the dam to collapse, but if we had to guess, heavy rain probably had something to do with it. Morgantown is a small community in southeastern Pennsylvania. They're home to about 1,600 people, and none of them could have predicted what happened on May 28th of 2019. What started as a typical day in town turned into a nightmare in the blink of an eye. Similar videos kept popping up on social media. Strong winds ripped people's yards apart and sent trash flying all over the neighborhood. One local man braved the weather to record the storm from his front door. He'll never forget what happened next. Later that day, the National Weather Service confirmed what everyone suspected. An EF2 tornado touched down in Morgantown. It caused extensive damage to people's homes, yards, and cars. One man was sitting in the living room when his wall blew up in front of him. Another woman watched her car get blown away from its parking spot. An EF2 storm ranges in speed between 111 and 135 miles per hour. However, not all Pennsylvanians are ready when one hits. There are only about 16 tornadoes on average each year. Compare that to Kansas, which gets about 92. May 3rd of 2021 was a stormy day in Guizhou, a province in southern China. Heavy rain and powerful winds battered the region, which is among the poorest in all of China. A local man was driving along in Tongren City when he came upon a wobbling bridge. He took one look and said, nope, not crossing that. That's when the wind picked up and tossed the bridge around like a rag doll. We can assume that he was glad he didn't try to cross. <laughs> We wouldn't feel comfortable driving over that bridge on a warm summer's day, let alone in the middle of a storm. Look at how much damage the wind caused when everything finally calmed down. Hopefully, our driver turned around and found another way over the river. According to Chinese news, the bridge is mostly made of steel chains. It was obviously closed to traffic after the storm. Repair crews arrived to fix the damage later on. Imagine working on that bridge after seeing this footage. To be honest, they're probably used to it. These types of bridges are common in China. In fact, Guizhou province is home to one of the world's highest bridges, standing 1,850 feet above the river below. Saki is a small town on the Crimean Peninsula in Ukraine. They've been at the center of a few stories regarding the Russia-Ukraine war, but severe weather in August of 2022 had the locals concerned about something else. On August 18th, a tornado touched down outside of town. The locals say it was as tall as a high-rise building. But the war-torn nation wasn't about to hide in their homes. Instead, they all ran outside to record the storm. The video began circulating on social media. People joked, saying even Mother Nature wanted the Russians to leave Crimea. Thankfully, nobody got hurt during the storm, and it doesn't seem like it caused too much severe damage.
Bung Khan is a tourist town in northeastern Thailand. April 20th of 2023 was supposed to be a night of music in the park. The popular band Rabbit Rhetoric was set to perform a free show, but a violent thunderstorm was quickly moving in. The wind picked up just as they were about to start the show. All the heavy equipment and hanging lights made it unsafe to stand under. Band members and concert goers alike ran for their lives. They could only watch as the whole thing came tumbling down. Those in charge of the event had everyone seek shelter inside. They assumed a heavy rainstorm was coming, but it wasn't that bad. The wind was their real enemy. It tore apart a few roofs elsewhere and knocked out power in the area. It kept blowing for about 40 minutes before suddenly stopping. Concert goers wanted the music to go on, but you can't do much with a broken stage and no electricity. The show was cancelled and damage crews arrived to pick up the pieces. According to reports, the wind caused millions of Thai bots worth of damage, or about $60,000. Given all the lights and sound equipment, that figure sounds about right. Lin Yi is the largest prefecture-level city in Shandong Province, China. They're home to 11 million people, putting them on par with Bogota, Jakarta, and Paris. In 1972, a bunch of bamboo slips were accidentally discovered in Lin Yi. On them was the first copy of Sun Tzu's Art of War. Thankfully, the world-famous text survived thousands of years of floods, landslides, and crazy weather. They probably outlasted several tornadoes in their day, like this one that touched down on April 15th of 2023. According to the Washington Post, this was the first tornado to touch down in China in 2023. It ripped the roofs off buildings and sent debris flying through the air. Trees and power lines toppled like toothpicks, blocking major roads in and out of the city. But despite the tornado's intensity, there were no reported injuries. The storm occurred at a time when Southeast Asia was breaking all kinds of heat records. They got up to 114 degrees in Thailand, and residents were advised to stay indoors. In China, 12 different provinces broke their heat records for April. Nantong is a prefecture-level city in Jiangsu Province, China. They're located on the northern bank of the Yangtze River, also known as the beating heart of modern China. The city is home to about 7.7 .7 million people and is a crucial river port along the Yangtze. On April 9th of 2019, a strong storm blew through Nantong City. Locals sheltered inside and recorded the wind from their windows. A few of them captured some crazy moments on camera. Oh, <laughs> 
no, no. Huh? 垃圾桶一块儿要摔下了。好，车子开始启动了。我操！垃圾桶，垃圾桶开始摔下去，开始启动了。我操！哎呀！我去。Nantong was also home to the unluckiest person in the world that day. According to reports, the smart car's owner didn't engage their parking brake. When the wind picked up, it pushed the lightweight car out of its parking spot and into the river. If you're thinking about buying a smart car, maybe aim for one of the heavier models, or just put the parking brake down wherever you go. In November of 2021, the city of Bandung, Indonesia was basically underwater. With about 2.5 million people, it's the second largest city in the country. Unfortunately, most were up to their waists in flood water after a heavy rainstorm passed through the area. High-intensity rain caused the river to overflow. Water quickly rushed into the city, catching the residents completely off guard. Many people in Indonesia navigate the crowded streets on motor scooters. As you can imagine, they are unreliable in knee-high flood waters. Locals did everything they could to help their fellow riders weather the storm. It was almost impossible for the bikers to gain traction in the water. It's probably because their bikes aren't heavy enough to keep their wheels on the ground. The two bikers coming toward us have an easier time. It's clearly easier to drive with the current than against it. One group had the right idea as they followed an SUV through the flood. It split the water enough for them to drive behind. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.